right, so it is meal prep day. This is our <laughs> vegetables for the week. So that is, I think like two kilos of Brussels sprouts, uh, two pounds of carrots, half a great big onion, all kinds of goodness. I'll stir it up with a little bit of olive oil and we're gonna roast all of that. Over here, you can see the assembly line uh, food. Well, maybe you can't see that too good. These are little containers. That's what it looks like. So that's the scale and uh, we're, we're measuring out five to eight ounces of chicken, five ounces for Gina, eight ounces of chicken for Ryan and that will be one lunch every day for each of us. Um, we've got steaks over here. They are being chopped up into I think five and eight ounce portions again. There's some of the chicken that we cooked up earlier and that's what we've got so far. So we'll clue you back in when we've got something baked. All right, so we have our chicken breasts all portioned out. You can see Ryan's are in his little plastic containers. Mine are in my Uber hipster canning jars. And of course, a couple of water bottles, never far away from the water bottles. Um, over here, Ryan is prepping the vegetables for roasting. So we've got two great big giant pans for roasting. And over here, this is the steak for the week. So that's, Ryan, how much did you say that was? Two, two and a half kilos. We've got about two, two and a half kilos of steak all chunked up so that's the next order of business is to measure the steak pre-weight before we cook it and then we will cook it portion it and catch you up in a minute so the foreman grill is heating up over here so all of that steak is going to end up in that guy once it's heated up one by one and we will be grilling a whole lot of steak for the two of us for the week This is another important feature when you're doing meal prep, especially if you're cooking. We call this the cooking fan and its job is to blow the smoke away from the smoke detector, which is up there and tends to go off whenever we're cooking. And it is dark, but maybe you can see Ryan weighing steak after steak <laughs> after steak. How are you sorting them, Ryan? These are between seven ounces plus. These are five ounces plus. So these are gonna be Ryan's steaks. These are gonna be Gina's steaks. And if we have extras, they're gonna be food I eat on my day off or in between snacks or when I have extra calories to spend. All right. And if you're looking at something to scale, that is six and a half ounces of steak. Look at that. It's about the size of a giant hand. Smaller than a giant hand. <laughs> it's much smaller than you think for the portions that you need. So after the measuring products, these are Gina's steaks. These are Ryan's steaks. Foreman Grill. Ryan's extra steaks. <laughs> Ryan's bonus steaks. <laughs> And Ryan's just hitting them up right now with some, what is that? Garlic powder and a little salt and pepper. Keep it simple, but keep it tasty. Garlic and salt and pepper. Okay, what did you call that? Uh, this here is fresh ground Himalayan pink salt. But I like to call it fart salt because it contains sulfur and a bunch of other minerals. And if you smell it, it's a little bit sulfurous. But you don't notice that when it comes to your food. It's just kind of a gag or a joke that it's fart salt. It's not fart salt. So. 
So as you can see, our kitchen is not very big. It is, oh gosh, our fridge is quite messy. Uh, there's a lot of recycling going on in here and rearranging, but uh, it's enough counter space for, you can see the blender for all the protein shakes, phone charger and toaster. I actually, we should probably the, put the toaster away. We don't get toast anymore. Um, and welcome to the world of cooking for a family of four when there's a power lifter and bodybuilder kind of lifestyle people in the house. <laughs> this is an entire family worth of food for two meals each for our five days of work next year, next week. Just eat and eat and eat and eat. Well, Ryan eats and eats and eats and eats. I eat the same amount I probably would have anyway, just better, cleaner food. I don't know if you can hear that, but that is like meat goodness right there. So steaks, boom. Seven minutes later? Yep. First round of steaks. Ryan casting a great big shadow. So this carries on for as many rounds as necessary. But there we are with steaks going into their little plastic containers so they can be transported easily to work. Where Ryan will be teased for the amount of food he has to eat. Or where I will be teased about the weirdness of the food that I eat. This is not an easy process being a bodybuilder slash power lifter and eating like some kind of fiend. It can be embarrassing. It can be vindicating. It's not easy. Ooh, I have to stay back till it's ready. Look at all that. There we go. Roasted vegetables galore. Two full cooking sheets of roasted Brussels sprouts, onions, and carrots. Okay, earlier we showed you our roasted vegetables. Now those vegetables have to get sorted out and loaded into all of our little containers. So that is the next step. So that plus two protein shakes a day is my lunches for the week. All right, so that's Ryan's meals for the week. Well, <laughs> let me rephrase. That is Ryan's lunches. lunches. <laughs> Two of the four meals he eats at lunch or throughout the day. Toss a couple of protein shakes on top of that and that is a day, no, a lunch of eating. So all the hard work is done. Here is the meal prep for, well, most of the week. We still cook breakfast in the morning and dinners at night and make protein shakes on the fly. But uh, meal prep, two of four lunches.
for two of us. And the final product, our fridge loaded to the gills with food for lunch this week. Bye!